Question 2. How does your media product represent particular social groups? Within the pre-existing pop music magazines that I have analysed, it was conventionally common that the focus of the magazine was on pop groups or artists that were mainly male, such as One Direction, The Wanted, Justin Bieber, Calvin Harris and JLS. This was due to the target demographic of the pop music magazine being teenage girls and that they would want to read about teenage boys being teenagers. However, even though they are male orientated, there are publicised features on female pop artists. This is due to their target demographic being teenage girls and the female artists and groups such as Jessie J, Little Mix and The Saturdays are in fact the biggest names in the pop industry and they interact with the readers of the magazine as they set an example for other girls to follow and they are inspirations for their fans to look up to and this was achieved through all the obstacles that they had to overcome in order to achieve their standing within the pop music world. Within my pop music magazine, the hashtag pop party, I have tried to present different groups and artists residing within the different ethnicities and backgrounds in order to promote my magazine to a larger, more diverse target demographic as I have represented the different ethnicities within my magazine as more current and normal to other teenagers by the casual clothes they wear. This is useful to my magazine as it's bought by more people and as such makes a bigger impact within my target demographic. Within my magazine, since my target demographic is teenage girls, I have also presented features on teenage boys. This appeals to my readers as they are interested in boys at that age, and this helps to further conventionalise my pop music magazine with that of others. In addition, I have also acted on a stereotype associated within teenage girls, this being that they are gossipy and always looking for an exciting scandal or breakup to talk about. I have taken advantage of this stereotype and promoted it through the use of my main cover line, the Alexa Breakup Meltdown, featured within my hashtag pop party pop music magazine. This cover line appeals to my readers as it pushes a hard-hitting and empathetic story in the faces of my readers, drawing them in and enticing them to buy the magazine.